Today we're in the beautiful Baltic city of Dansk and we're going to be exploring around this stunning place with you guys today. So come along with us. Right now I am in front of this beautiful statue of Neptune and he is looking pretty heroic if you don't mind me saying. And um, it's a beautiful emblem for this incredible city because it does have such an expansive maritime history and both of us are very excited to check this place out it's been uh, it's been on both of our lists now for quite some time literally since we got to Poland we were like we need to go and explore the tri cities and a lot of you guys have commented saying that we needed to come up here so that's exactly why we're here let's go and explore beautiful Dansk Right now we are in Dugitark where you have the beautiful statue and fountain of Neptune and this really seems to be one of the main tourist attractions here. You can hear loads and loads of different languages. Um, I think we have never seen so many tourists and so many English speakers, German speakers, French speakers and so on in all of Poland. So I think Dansk is one of the most popular cities here in Poland and here from Dugitark you can have a beautiful view onto the old town hall um, which at the moment accommodates a museum and you can even go all the way up to the tower so maybe that's something that we're going to do just to get a little bit of a better overview of the city. Alright guys, so we just got our tickets for the tower in the old city hall of Dansk and we're going to make our way up now to this tower. It supposedly has some of the best views that you can get over Dansk, so let's go and do it. Literally the second we made it up to this tower, um, the sun came out. Before it was a little bit cloudy here and there, but now it's beautiful sunshine and oh my god, let me tell you something. It's so beautiful up here, uh, you can see so incredibly far into the distance it kind of feels like you get a whole overview of Poland basically from here and all you can see are those beautiful red tile roofs of the old city itself and you can even see very far into the distance kind of the cranes of the port and so on so this is definitely a worthy start of the video my god the views are just absolutely mind-blowing I cannot get over the panoramic 360 views that you get when you get towers like this the last place that we had this was in Torun and it was simply spectacular as well this one I think is a little bit higher than the tower in Torun um, we definitely had to walk up a whole bunch of steps and we were severely out of breath for quite some time but the views are very very much worth every single penny it is around 12 zwati per person to get up here for this view and definitely do it if you do get the chance while you're here in dance because it offers a stunning view down over Dwugi Targ or the Long Market Street. You can see down very clearly all along the street and you can see the people bustling about and it is just absolutely amazing. Well, well, well worth it. From this tower here as well you get this stunning view over to uh, St. Mary's Basilica which is the largest red brick church in all of Poland and um, as you can see here I even saw some people on the top of that tower so maybe we can go over there and check out that tower as well because it seems to be a little bit higher than the one of the uh, old town hall but yeah you get this, this stunning view and you can really appreciate how beautiful um, the basilica stands here in Dansk. The streets of Dansk are characterized by this beautiful cobblestone walking through these streets you are really reminded of the history of this Baltic port city. A lot of it was sadly flattened during World War II but since then obviously a lot of it has been rebuilt to look similar to the way it did before that war and you can see a lot of the history as I said in these beautiful streets. 
We just had a look around St. Mary's Basilica here in Dansk and oh my god, it's so so stunning from the inside. It's completely white. Um, I think I've never seen that actually in a church, that it's completely white on the inside just with like golden accents everywhere. Um, so it's beautifully decorated from the inside. It looks very peaceful, very uplifting and you can indeed go up the tower of St. Mary's Basilica as well. I believe it was 1440 to go up but we just came down the other tower so we don't want to go up another 82 meters of staircase um, so we're maybe going to do that later um, or tomorrow on our own time <laughs> we just had to take some cash out we just arrived to the beautiful river Vizla here in Dansk and we're gonna go and try and get ourselves a boat the boat leaves now in approximately five minutes so we should be should be able to catch this one <laughs> Stress. stress 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 <laughs> but uh yeah there's plenty of different types of boats that are just floating around have a look but this one over here is the one that we are trying to catch so let's go <laughs> you. let's go <laughs> changes quite a bit um, make sure that you bring a jacket or maybe even a rain poncho because we just got absolutely soaked in so, rain so so wet right now it is just pummeling rain uh, out of the sky so we came here uh, there seems to be like an exchange of people getting off and on so we came up here to get a seat under the roof of uh, the upper deck and uh, thankfully we did the seat is still absolutely soaked though <laughs> But it's, yeah. it's fine, we'll be good. The, the views all along here are just amazing though. Yeah, and depending on how full the ship is as well, you might not even get a place under the roof. So that's why we kind of got wet for a while because we had to stand outside without a roof. <laughs> this this boat as well, is it goes from Dansk to Westerplatte, Westerplatte, which is kind of where World War II actually began. It was the first clash, first battle between Poland and Germany in World War II. So crazy amount of history and all along here you see so many beautiful things like the Dansk shipyard where they repair boats coming in and out of Dansk. It's so cool, it's amazing. So right now you can even see one of the larger boats that have been for repair um, in Dansk being pulled out by several smaller boats. It kind of looks like maybe three or four smaller boats are pulling it out into the Baltic Sea which is super super interesting to see. Well, that boat experience was one of a kind, definitely <laughs> two thumbs up from us. It also stopped raining the second we touched ground again. So. <laughs> yeah, literally as soon as the boat trip was over, it stopped raining. But throughout the entire, oh, well. throughout the entire trip on the boat itself, it was just lashing down really, really heavily rain. So we spent the majority of it trying to look for cover on the boat. But nonetheless, we captured some really nice footage for you guys. And that boat trip is definitely worth every second. Now we're getting pretty hungry. So we're gonna go and try and find a nice restaurant to get some food here in beautiful Dansk. Let's go. These buildings over here are really, really interesting looking. Um, it kind of reminds me and Naomi of the Speicherstadt, which we saw in Hamburg not too long ago. You'll probably, these people with balloons are everywhere as well. Um, 
they have just these giant long strings of balloons and me and Naomi have been hit in the head yeah. multiple times. We get smacked in the face with balloons several times. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, those buildings are really interesting. Um, we went to Hamburg, um, made like a little bit of a stop over there and it looks like the Speicherstadt area in Hamburg. So that's really interesting. So we made our way into a milk bar. It's actually called Milk Bar Stagiewna and it seems to be incredibly popular with a lot of Polish people around here. Have a look around the restaurant right now. It's absolutely packed. We have no idea what we're gonna order, but we're just gonna pick something at random off the menu, and then we're gonna go and enjoy some food. You can find milk bars pretty much all over Poland, and to be honest, these are usually our favorite restaurants, because you are guaranteed to get a pretty large meal for a very small amount of money. Just to give you an example, we just got two kotlet shabobi, which is pretty much a schnitzel with, uh, with some potatoes and dill on the side. And we paid 48 swati in total, which is like around 10 euro um, for two huge meal, which is absolutely amazing. Those two meals were really, really tasty as well. So in case you do come to Dansk, make sure to check out this milk bar here. And, um, just to give you a little bit of context with the milk bars, uh, as far as we understood, the milk bars are kind of a leftover of communism itself. So those were usually the types of places where you could get a large meal for a little amount of money, right? Yeah, and the name itself, as far as I'm aware, the name milk bar comes from cheese curd or cheese leftovers. Um, and that was because in the times of communism, meat itself was very rare and difficult to come by. And it all kind of ties in together. This is exactly why we tried to find ourselves a milk bar to visit here in Dansk, because Dansk itself was where the fall of communism started in Poland, which is pretty magnificent. And yeah, milk bars, perfect place to go if you do want to spend just a little bit of money, but you want to fill up your tummy. Something that we like to do on our channel every now and then as well for you guys, especially for our Polish viewers, is to give you guys exactly what a certain place looks like during a certain time. So we just turn the camera around and give you the raw and other feel of what the place is currently like at the moment. And today it is a relatively rainy Wednesday here in Dansk but we may as well show you guys what the beautiful Long Market or Dwugi Targ area looks like here in Dan. So check it out. Oh, we are such children. We walked past the sweet factory store called the Dansk Sweet Factory and we decided to go in and get ourselves some pick and mix. Um, Very first time actually we managed to walk past these types of stores for one and a half years and today was just the day where we were like okay we need to go and grab ourselves some candy. We gave in. Mama. <laughs> Thank you.
initially we were planning on taking you to the Baltic Sea right now but because the weather is only so-so um, we made the decision to come to this mall here which is called Forum and check this out they have a little river inside of the mall how cool is that I'm sure however that we will be taking you to the Baltic Sea in the next two videos because one of them is going to be from Sopot and the other one is going to be from Gdynia right yeah, we are in the Tri-Cities and this is our first stop of the Tri-Cities, beautiful Dansk, and we cannot wait to check out the other two. That mall, Forum Dansk, is a really interesting and unique mall. The architecture in there is just something else and we've never seen a mall like that, that just has a river cutting through the mall. Um, really interesting and plenty of things to check out there. We just went in because it started raining once again. Unfortunately, the weather is not on our side today. But speaking of shopping, um, Dansk is known as the amber capital of the Baltics. So there's plenty of places to, you can go and get yourself beautiful amber souvenirs all over this amazing city. By the way, here in Dansk and all over Poland and the larger cities really, you find these crazy super malls pretty much everywhere. But not only one of them, usually several ones of them. So for example, here in Dansk, we just went to that Forum Mall, but there's also a mall uh, very, very close to us, which I believe is called the Galleria Baltica or something like that which is equally large like so big that you can genuinely get lost in there so in case you do forget something when you have when you get to Poland there's always the option to stock up on stuff that you might need all right guys so um, great thing to know if you are going to be coming and staying in Dansk there is a tram that connects um, a lot of the city and we are staying in an Airbnb that's just outside of Dansk so that saved us quite a bit of money if you do want to stay directly in the center obviously it's going to be a little bit more money so we ended up getting a place just outside of Dansk and saved ourselves um, a good bit so we are just using the tram now to get back to our accommodation but yeah this is this was our kind of quick first impression of Dansk, city of Dansk, and it is absolutely a beautiful place, 100% worth visiting in my personal opinion. What do you think? I couldn't agree more with you. I feel like Dansk has a very, very unique ch charm, charm <laughs> to it. Um, especially the architecture and the river itself and even the boat cruise that we did today even though the weather was not great it was an absolutely unique experience and i do recommend for you to do that as well even though the weather might be bad but yeah guys um for now my name is luke my name is naomi and we are the two mad explorers and this is your reminder to keep exploring <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching bye bye